Okay, so I just opened my box. This is the Gritter kit from Neversink Farm. So it's got the two, three, and four set gritter. And um, these were strapped in with heavy duty zip ties and uh, it's got some foam here. So it's really not over packaged. Like sometimes you see the package is completely full of foam or something, you know, so it's not over packaged, but it's definitely secure. Made it all the way from down there or over there, I guess, um, to Seattle and then on the barge up to Alaska. Shipping options to Alaska weren't great. I don't remember what the exact number was, but it was like something outrageous, like $300 or something to ship it by regular mail. So what I did was um, there's free shipping in the United States. So I had it shipped to the barge in Seattle and then it was shipped up in the two separate packages, the handle and then the package with the three rollers. And each of those cost about $60. So it was like $120 to get this whole thing up to wrangle. So yeah, we got the um, piece that holds the, where the handle goes into, and that can be removed and put on each of these, each of these rollers. And uh, they'll tell you that, you know, if it's shipped outside the United States, they're not going to include the handle. Um, I would like to have not included the handle, but it wasn't really clear on when you were ordering if you could specify that. Um, so I paid an extra 60 something dollars to get this shipped by itself, but I figured I didn't know what if it was some sort of special handle. So I figured, well, it's just worth having it shipped. But um, just taking a look at it, all it really is is a one and one quarter inch dowel with the end rounded off. So if you have a chance to get this without the handle, I would, and you're having to pay shipping like up to Alaska, I would get it without the handle if there was some way to specify that. Um, this is just rounded at one end and flat on the other and it's just a one and one quarter inch dowel. Handle length is about 47 inches. Okay, so I've got my three gritters here and I'm gonna be using this one with the four rows because I'm planting four rows of lettuce in a bed. So I just need to get this handle onto, so I can put it on here and I need to remove these wing nuts and move this over to this gritter that I'm gonna be using. So actually what I realize is that this comes off, um, that the wing nuts are just for an adjustment and that the this comes right off the gritter. Okay, so actually there's a hole at the end and that this just slides right on to the gritter end here. And you just need to adjust so that you adjust the wing nut so that it's long enough to get to the other end. Okay, so I hammered the handle down into this and um, there is a little hole. Where is it? There it is. Um, where you could put a screw to hold it in place, but I'm not going to right now. And I don't know, it looks a little janky. Like this is sliding around. Yeah, I think I've got something funky here. Um, but I'm gonna take it out and see, see, see what it looks like.
So the seaweed is pretty crunched up in here. And then plus, as the birds have been kind of going through getting bugs and stuff, it's gotten all mixed up with the soil. So I think it's gonna work actually perfect. Um, maybe even to use the gritter to mark spots and definitely to plant right into. Oh my gosh. I just tamped this down a little bit with a rag. Um, this is like the tallest bed in the whole world. Because the, you know, my bed here is so tall and it has such, you know, a slope on the edges. It's really only, you know, like a 24 inch bed. Um, so if I were to plant at all four edges here, that would be right at the edge of my bed. So, hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna give this a try. Oh my gosh. So I don't know if you can kind of see this, but you can see the pattern where the edges, you know, where the plants will go. It is just a problem that the lettuce is gonna have to be like, would have to be like on the very edge. All right, so now we're gonna switch over to this two row gritter because I need to plant two rows per bed of kale and chard. Okay, so you can kind of see the grid marks going there. And I'll be planting in each of the corners. But you can see all the little guys tucked into their little holes. And the gritter, it, it has a little wire here that you're supposed to kind of probably put along a lot, you know, a line. And so then you can actually get your, your line straight which mine isn't, it's all a little bit crooked, but I don't really care about that. I just want to get the spacing kind of right. So, as I was kind of worving off, you know, the straight line, I was getting it too far to one side or the other. I kind of went over it again. So it's kind of leaving a bigger, you know, square. I mean, it's not quite as precise, but I think that'll work out fine too. So I noticed that between the four row gritter and this two row gritter, that um, the four row that I used for the lettuces is much easier to kind of just push along, whereas this one kind of, you know, kind of lumps along and it's easier to get off your straight line. Um, but 
is still much better than eyeballing it with a little stick or whatever. Um, I wanted to point out, because I had said I was gonna plant everything at the, the corners of the squares, and what I'm doing is staggering them, so I've got two at the corner and one in the center, and just kind of going like that for both the, the chard and, and the kales. So this lettuce bed is looking, you know, a little closer to 30 inches. Still kind of planting a little bit at the edges of the bed, but not as bad as this guy. Okay, so they're all planted. Kind of hard to see because they're so little. I kind of went off kilter when I was gritting this bed. So... I'm just gonna rake it out and do it again. This is the gritter eraser. Okay, I'm gonna try and keep this thing straight. <laughs> oh my gosh. so I've got parsley at the far end, leeks, green onions. I planted the green onions, you know, three per square. And same thing with the leeks. Such little guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are they going to even make it? And um, this is the Italian parsley. Okay, so I went through and hoed, and now I'm gonna run the gritter through. This will be the last bed that I'll use the gritter on this season. Wow. <laughs> So this is what this looks like in um, kind of dampish soil since it's been raining. But you can see one, two, three, four is where we plant the lettuces. Well, as basic as that tool is, you know, it is something that somebody who knows how to weld could just kind of put together pretty easily. So kind of spendy to buy, but for me, just getting it was worth it. And um, I need to dial it in a little bit. I'm literally just like, <laughs> I just put it together and ran it across. There might be better ways to to, to use. I'm probably like missing something, but um, I have to say that it is probably one of my favorite tools that I have it makes just laying everything out so much easier. I used to go down through here, take a, a, you know, like a stick and, you know, plant and then, you know, just such a, a fiddly pain in the butt. This is just so easy. And, um, and so once you have things planted somewhat straight and somewhat evenly spaced, it is so much easier to go through with a hoe and just, um, 
you know, knock off the weeds when they're really tiny.